Hi, it's Dr. Marcia Sirota here, and we're continuing our discussion about COVID-19 and ways that we can cope. And one of the things I think that's really important in a time like this is to consider being a good citizen. You know, this is a time where we all have to pull together. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It could take six to 12 months for this to resolve. There might be um, resolutions that are temporary and then further spikes. The spikes might be even worse. And so we really need to kind of dig deep and go the distance. And part of that is really thinking about everyone around us because how everyone else is impacted also has an impact on us. And our behavior hurts other people or helps other people and then it comes back to us. So when we're corporately responsible and community responsible, that's when we are able to have a win-win situation because we benefit when everyone else around us is, is doing well and we lose out when everyone else is doing poorly. So for example, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, who is a health expert who's been speaking a, a lot about health over the years, and he generally is quite calm and he never loses his temper, but he was looking at the joggers in San Francisco recently, how they were all clumping together and not practicing social distancing, and he got very frustrated. And for the first time ever, he lost his temper on air. And that's very unusual, but you can understand why, because these people were not practicing social responsibility, right? These were people who were potentially passing on virus to other individuals who could then go and pass it on to further people and that's how the virus gets spread and that's how we can end up in a situation like they have in Italy for example. So we have to really consider our actions because everything we do now has a very very important impact and you know there are people who are doing really good things and being good corporate citizens for example here in Canada there's a company called Loblaws and they have a grocery chain and they've recently acquired a pharmacy chain called Shoppers Drug Mart and they've been instituting what we, they call seniors hours so they give people who are senior people who are having chronic uh, illnesses and chronic conditions an hour in the morning before anyone else can get in who can uh, and then they can go shopping so this company is allowing people who are maybe immune compromised at risk to go and have an hour to shop first thing in the morning before anyone else gets in when there are things on the shelves and they're not going to be having to fight off or fend off anybody else so that's an example of really thinking about the community and there are a lot of people right now who are walking around, helping their neighbors, helping strangers, doing a lot of acts of kindness and generosity. And that's also a really wonderful thing that, that people are doing. And so when you contrast these runners who are all clumping together and possibly passing the virus around versus these you know, responsible corporations and responsible individuals, it, you can really see the difference. You know, Some people are creating more good and some people are possibly creating more bad. And these are very, very tricky times because, like I said, every little action we take could have very wide-reaching consequences. The repercussions of even a little thing like shaking somebody's hand might be widespread because we shake somebody's hand, they shake somebody else's hand, and suddenly thousands of people are infected. So we have to think very seriously and very responsibly about all the things that we're doing because every little thing does matter. And if you feel like, oh, you know, it doesn't, you're wrong because it really does. This is a time where we all have to pull together. We really have to open our hearts and we really have to take responsibility and recognize that everything we do counts and it counts for the good or it counts for the bad. And when you really think about it, which side do you want to be on? I know which side I want to be on. So I am doing everything I can to be as practical and responsible and compassionate as possible. And I invite you all to do the same. Stay tuned for more updates on this very emerging and growing topic and hopefully we will all stay safe and uh, keep our hearts open.